Now the tree sang this song to me. He said the bird sang it to the breeze. Just in case I was feeling down and didn't really want to be around. He said the breeze sometimes come with the rain. But nothing in life stays the same. No. Tomorrow's gonna bring the change. Yeah. The magic remains the same. From life to university, ooh, of the birds, trees, and the breeze. Just wait till tomorrow comes. Live your life. Hold on, baby. Take a step to another day. Would you leave me alone? Because living is the only way. Well, I know I sang the wrong first day, but you keep talking to me. All right, all right. Everything is gonna be. Lauren's uh, girlfriend who has a very exquisite name. I call her Sister Esquire. But did y'all see Sapphire? Did y'all see Sapphire? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Sapphire had this thing that she called Bobby Rush that she was going to beat somebody down with all his stitches. You're going to lay down but still be listening. Well, lay down Sue Ellen and still listen, girl. you going to feel all right? Look, Joan, the goodness of God, come on. And so I just could not keep it to myself, no. I couldn't keep it to myself. I just thought about the goodness and the mercy and, and all the beauty of life. And today as I was working in my garden, it occurred to me that I needed to tell you all, you know, about 
what's really going on. So, so when I before I get started with this, I just want to talk about what's really going on. And I want to tell you all where I was with all of this. And um, and how the Lord brought me through and gave me clarity. And I didn't realize that I was losing clarity and I was really in a state um, of depression, um, losing so many people. Um, and I was just like, okay, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just know that... Um, I just know that I'm getting depressed and with all of the loss that's going on, I really was finding it difficult to not cry late at night. And so today I was talking to one of my prayer warriors and um, and I was like, okay, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just wait on God and I'm going to do something else that I know that the Lord will allow me to do. And that is to get through it. And so... I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit. As I know the Lord is helping me get through some things, I thought about the fact that I needed to realize that he was doing something powerful. So let me talk about that for a second. Let me just say right now that we are cooking catfish. It's going to be stuffed with the shrimp. It has a base of uh, stewed tomatoes with peppers, and it also has some sage in it. So we have this with some sage. It's going to give it a nice flavor. That's what I'm prayerful about. I can imagine uh, it's going to taste really amazing. And it's going to be stuffed with uh, some shrimp. So you can see this is a pretty good sized catfish here. And uh, there are two of them. And I think that um, the scary part is um, it does still have, the way that I'm going to do this, it does still have the bone in it. But this just means that you need to learn how to eat with that and chew. <laughs> Eat and chew. Uh, hey, Mikael, how you doing in Sweden there, baby? Hey, Odessa Riley, how you doing? Brenda, I love you so much. I love you so much. And Brenda and I were talking this morning. And and Joan said, Bobby Rush is a booger bear. Girl, he looked like if you start beating on somebody, they gonna be crying. So um, that's old school. That's old school beat down. I call it an old school beat down. So as I was pruning, I'm gonna give us a little background music. As I was pruning, um, uh, my flowers, um, I realized that God had put something amazing in my sight. And I'm just going to play a little bit of music so we can have some music. And um, I thought about some of the stuff that my father had said to me. And I started to think how I was really in a mournful state. And I hope that this will help everyone else. And I'm going to start working on this fish while we do that. Um, mind me, I'm going to get a piece of foil. Because y'all know I ain't trying to be scrubbing and cussing with Hazel. Because she's in rare form today. So I, I was imagining um, some of the things that my dad would say to me. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a preacher's kid. And I was imagining some of the things that my dad would say to me. And how he taught me to not stay in a grief state that no one is promised to us for, forever. And if you're really missing somebody, they were a blessing, an angel in your life. And um, I thought about Nicodemus, and you, you read about Nicodemus. Nicodemus didn't understand that his soul had to be reborn. He didn't understand the full state of what the conversation was. And God said that, you know, you must be reborn. And um, if you are grounded in the Lord and you have taken him as your savior, then you're reborn, you know, by water. You can't crawl back up in the womb, you know? But as we go through this process of life, as we acknowledge our creator, Try not to mourn so hard because what God has given us are those temporary angels that we're going to miss, you know. I miss my dad every day, but, but the grief and the crying is not there. I'm so grateful that I had him so that he could teach me that life is not forever. It's, an, it's a natural process. 
because from the earth we came and from the earth we will return so while you grieve don't crawl up in the grave understand that you, that you still have life that you can live more abundantly while you cry while you miss those ones that were so significant in your life they're now your angels so if you can imagine your angel walking beside you you may not physically be able to see them but you can still feel them today you can still feel the power of their love you can still remember their teachings you can you can still remember how amazing they made you feel out of that love that's God that's a full circle and then one day one day we are all gonna return to the earth but the question is what are you leaving and who have you nurtured? And who have you loved? Have you been an angel? Will you be somebody else's angel? I challenge you today in your loss to hold your head up. You're gonna cry sometimes, but know that love is still walking beside you. It's like that point when you ask God, where were you? I only saw one set of footprints in the sand. The Lord was carrying you the entire way. So you're not alone. And I thank you for joining me for Tea Time. I really, truly do. I love you so much. God bless you. And God keep you. So we're going to, hey, Max Myrick, how are you? That's an angel for me. Hey there, Kia, how you doing? Hi, Yvette, how you doing? And so, hey, Tara. So I hope I hope my message today, I hope that it, that it, it, it grabs you. Um, I hope that it that it nurtures you, that it gives you the love that you need. Okay, so I just wanted to I wanted to do that. I wanted to talk to you about that, and and I just cut that song off because that wasn't the next song that I wanted to sing. I just had to put on some kind of in between music. You know what I'm saying? So while I'm doing this, you know, we'll be all right. So that's what's going on. I just wanted to talk to you about that and let you know that that God is in the He's in that blessing business. And he does not leave us. And I know Hazel already saw tonight is the night because she keep running her butt out here doing stuff like she's in control. But let me tell you something. She is not in control. Remember that. Yeah, I'm talking about you. It took some time to realize I was so great. A thousand no's and you don't give it to those who pay. Afraid of what it would be if I should succeed. Reveal the light, dig deep inside, try to believe. Have you ever wondered why people criticize? It is their fear of what they have deep inside. Don't let them steal your joy with labels and names. It is the difference in you that wins the game. See, I like what I see. What about you? I adore what's in me. Yes, it's true. I believe in my heart that I'm uniquely set apart. What about you? What about you? What about you? God. 
God's grace in my smile I see his face in me in me oh, oh I like what I see what about you I adore what's in me yes it's true I believe in my heart I'm uniquely set upon what about you what about you what about oh, I, I, I like what I see what about you I adore what's in me baby it's true I believe in my heart that I'm uniquely set up hot what about you what about
somebody told me um, that I talk about the Lord a lot, and I do. And you know what the Bible says. If you are ashamed to own me before men, I'll be ashamed to own you before my Father. And the first thing we do when we get in trouble is what we call on the Lord. But we don't want the Lord to call on us. Now, what is that about? I believe we need to always call on the Lord. He's, he's powerful in my life. Ain't nobody like him. Ain't nobody going to turn me away from him. Get you some business, okay? That's all I got to say because the Lord is always going to be my shepherd and I shall not want. I'm going to be seasoning this bird. This is some Obey seasoning. I love the Lord. He my cry. I went straight to Louisiana with the Obey. And he McCormick Cajun seasoning. As long as I live, I'm trouble. I will haste dust it on to to to. It's wrong. Instrument, all you got 
gotta do, all you gotta do is wait on him. I'm gonna hate to his throne. I hope that blessed you. And if, the, if you're the devil, I hope it drove you out. Hey Amen. Yes, that's what I hope happened. I hope that it drove you out. That's what I hope. I hope it drove you right on out, Satan. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Okay, now, what's up, Stephen Rogers? Y'all, Stephen sent me an amazing gift. And we're going to see it in action soon. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Wouldn't take a dollar from me. What a, what a, what a blessing. What a blessing. So right now, I'm just going to take some of this tomato. Now, I'm a hand person. So I'm going to take this tomato and I'm going to mix in with this uh, with this shrimp. So that's what you're going to see me do. I'm just going to mix it in with this shrimp. Let me get my hands free so that I can have a, a little something going on. Did y'all enjoy that? Thank you. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. And this group is faithful. What's up, Carol Buchanan? Yes, it did. Bless me and anyone else who heard it. That's what I wanted. I wanted you all to feel blessed. I don't ever want you all to feel like you cannot share because we're all going through it. You know what I'm saying? We're all going through it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab me a lemon. I'm gonna grab me a lemon while we do this. I have all of my stuff together. Now this is what's important to me. I do not like fishy, fishy anything, and I cut it. I cut it with lemon. So that's what I do. I cut the fishy smell and the fishy taste with lemon always. Notice I didn't cut up a ton of shrimp right now. I can tell you one, two, three, four, five, six. I use six shrimp because we're just stuffing the inner front of the catfish. I know y'all like, damn, that's looking good, ain't it? Ain't it looking good? Yes, I'm gonna give me a little swallow. Hazel, I done told you about that. Mm. Don't do it, Hazel. Do not do it. Hazel, do not do it. Here we go. Jackson. <laughs> 
in good times. Remember this? Y'all remember this? Okay, so wait a minute. I'm, wait a minute. I'm, hold on. Am I the only one that remembers this? So let me stop the song right now. Let's stop this. Does anybody remember this? Say, you need a sitcom. What's up? Thank you, Tara. Love it. Oh, okay. You can't see? What you mean you can't see, Steven? You can't see it? What you can't see? What you can't see, boo? That's right. Okay. Keisha got it. Keisha got it. Because I was getting worried. I'm like, am I the only one who, who, who know this song? Because, you know, I can't be the only one who know this song. Okay. I just didn't want to be the only one who knew this song. Because, y'all ain't know she didn't. Because remember, remember when Janet Jackson was on there and it was Michael and he was singing this song and who, was it, was it, whose wedding was it? Was it Janet in the wedding? Was it Janet in the wedding when, when uh, Thelma, Thelma got married. Thelma got married and, and, uh, and Michael sung it at Thelma's wedding. When what's his name broke his ankle, then he messed himself up, and then they had to live in the ghetto still. Okay, so I just want to remind y'all what happened. All right, we gonna go again. Malcolm, that's your favorite wedding song. Hey, Miss Thelma, I love you. And yes, his name was Thelma, my honey. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to stop because I want to make sure y'all was with me. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this because I ain't gonna never get finished right. together unite God has made us fall in love it's true the bit more seasoning I've really found someone in you oh that smells good
I hope you enjoy that. Yes, I do. Hey, EJ. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I don't get none on my clothes. Hold on. What's up? What's up, AJ Ezel? What's up? What's up? What's up, Latanya Scales? How you doing? So over there, the wooden utensils are in the way. Okay, let me move this a little bit. You trying to see something? You trying to see something, Steven? So we are we're practically ready. This is what it looks like. I'm trying to make sure. Now, this is this is what's important about what I'm doing. I try to make sure that. All I have to do is lift it up when it's over and put it on something pretty. And that's why the foil is here. Uh, I'm just going to pick it up at the end and put it on something pretty. And it should look amazing at the end. I'm going to put a little bit more basil throughout this so that you all can uh, enjoy this. Thank you, Breezy. Thank you, Tara. Thank you guys so much for spending, you know, tea time with me. This is, this is our relief from sadness, hopefully. I hope when you come to this show, you feel, you know, unspeakable joy, that you have fun because that's what's important, you know, that you have fun. And uh, that's what this show is all about, us having a great time together. You know, a lot of times people are so afraid of having a good time together. And, um, and do me a favor, share. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. See this, oh my God, if you could smell the basil and what's going on with it. It is absolutely amazing. Oh my God, the cookbook is coming along very well. And let me see what else do we have up in here because in all actuality, I need to drop this in the sink and I might need one more lemon. So always have two lemons when you're cooking a fish to fig. Make sure that you have a lemon. Hazel will clean that up, won't you Hazel? Won't you clean that up? Hazel, won't you clean that up for me? Y'all know how she is. She probably right around the corner. Y'all know how indignant she is. All I know, she had it out with Mr. Earlier. And I don't know what that was all about. I'm just going to put a little bit more lemon across this. And I'm going to use a little Himalayan sea salt and cracked pepper just to top it off. But I think it's going to taste amazing. And I'm also going to spray a little olive oil on it so that it can stay nice and moist. As you guys can see, I left the shrimp around the perimeter. I left the shrimp around the perimeter um, in the shell. Um, so make sure that you season it. And this is just some McCormick roasted garlic herb seasoning. I'm just shaking a little bit on the shrimp to make sure that it all gets something on it. You just want to make sure that even your peppers get something on it. And this herb seasoning is not high in sodium, so you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about it being too salty or anything. I'm trying to get to this side of shrimp. Oh, this shrimp looks so amazing, guys. Okay, so believe it or not, this is kind of ready to go into the oven. We've got only 50. It's 650. Oh, my God. Where's the time go? I have missed you guys so much, and I am having such a ball. Let me tell you guys, I want to take the time right now to make sure that you all um, um, know that my sponsor is still with me. Uh, Faux Sugar is still with me, and uh, it's an amazing thing. Please go to FaultSugar.com and some of the things that I discussed today will be on the blog, you know, about you not stressing too much, about you staying empowered. Um, people are having heart attacks and, you know, a lot is going on because this is a very stressful time. So, you know, the COVID is taking people out, you know, not just, you know, with, with the, the, the COVID itself catching it, but also just the stress of it all. So make sure that you take care of yourself in the meantime. I also want to share with you that during this moment, we're also going to be um, spending some time um, doing uh, the Better Love Yourself trunk event. And so I want all of you to know that that is happening on August the 2nd. And um, I really want you all to make sure that um, you tune in on August the 2nd so you can see us giving the kids you know, the, uh, the computers to go off to college. We only have $1,500 left to raise. Um, I am so excited and so grateful for you. Uh, if you'd like to help us finish off our computers, I even got a call today from a, one of my wonderful loving aldermen was asking if we could do 10 more computers for some kids. I would love to. It's not too late for us to order some more. So if that's like $3,500 more dollars that we need to raise if we add it to that. That's like five grand. We should be able to five $5,000, right? 
you know, so we don't have to say 10, tell 10 more kids no. So if you know anybody who's a sponsor or who wants to sponsor, hey, take the time. Even if it's not the whole, you know, whatever you give us, we're really grateful for it. Um, I'm going to stick this in the oven. And I think I have always wanted to try this song. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But the worst thing that could happen is I screw it up. Well, let's pray I don't. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it here. Just on the middle side. 